What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, I will do a two-year update on my ecosphere. It has gone through some interesting and significant changes since I sealed it up two years ago. I will show how I made it, what it looked like when it was new, and what it looks like now, two years later. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now let's get started. Here is a quick review of how I made it. It was simple and fun, but note that this is a reenactment performed today, not the original build two years ago. Step 1. Get a glass jar and clean it out. I only used water to clean it, so there wouldn't be any soap residue left behind in the jar. Step 2. Find a water source, like a pond or a lake. I used a lake for the original, but for this I'm using this pond. Step 3. Put some dirt from the bottom of the pond into the jar. Step 4. Add some water from the pond to the jar. But leave an air gap at the top. Step 5. Install the lid, sealing it off and creating a closed ecosphere. And that's it! Step 6 is to place it somewhere and enjoy! The water will eventually clear up, usually after a day or two. Then you can see the wonders of your ecosphere. Now let's move on from this new build and look at the two year old ecosphere when it was new. Looking back through my old photos, I found a couple pictures and videos. Starting at the bottom and moving up, I had the dirt layer. Then a water layer with some natural underwater plants inside and the air gap at the top. It was pretty diverse and fun to look at with the variety of different animals inside. Among the highlights were these snails. There were a few snails inside, which was a fun surprise. And also these dancing wiggly worm guys. These were entertaining. There were also several other creatures swimming around, but this is the only footage I have from two years ago. So that was the beginning of the ecosphere. I do have a one year update, I showed a little bit of it in a previous video. Here's the footage. The ecospheres are just dirt and water from a pond. I thought this one was completely dead over the winter, but there's some new stuff going on in there. And now it's time for the main event, the two year update. So let's dive in and check out all the details. This was sealed up in August 2020, and it's currently August 2022, so that's two years. Starting with the bottom dirt layer, it's not just brown dirt anymore. There are a lot of colors and materials. I personally don't know what all of this is, but it's definitely been an interesting evolution. Moving up to the water, it looks like all the plants are gone and it's just kind of empty. But if you look closely, with nice lighting, there's a pretty interesting plant network. It reminds me of all the neurons in a brain or something. This is very different than how it started two years ago. Interesting changes have taken place. Moving to the top, it's not quite as attractive, but still interesting. This is all new growth. There's a variety of living things going on up here. And that's how it's looking after two years, but we've got a little bit more. It's not currently swarming with animal life, but it's not dead inside. Here's a little guy cruising around. I've seen it go back and forth between appearing to be empty and packed with new things swimming around several times. It's been entertaining and interesting to see it change and evolve over the last two years. And I'm interested to see what the future holds. I'll plan on doing a three year update next year. So I think that wraps it up. I hope you found this interesting or entertaining. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.